Mr. Cassenti. Now the ceremony can begin. My apologies, Miss Spencer. My previous meeting ran a bit later than expected. Let's get started. I would also like to ask you some questions at the end of the ceremony. I'm a journalist, and it's not every day that I get to meet the richest man in New York. Hey, hey, behold my latest creation! A chicken dog with berry coolie, a sprig of broccoli, and a dash of whipped cream. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> That's the wildest thing I've ever seen! That looks even more appetizing than my salad crumble. Maybe I can treat you to lunch. It's almost noon. <laughs> no! <laughs> I totally forgot! Forgot what? The creator of my favorite comic is giving a signing session at the bookstore, but it ends at noon. I'll never get there in time. But I could just leave it to Andy. Are you sure? Sure than sure. Why wouldn't I be? Well, it's just that you're usually not great at keeping promises, like when you promised to bring me back the vase I had ordered, or that time you were supposed to take oh. care of my carnivorous plant, or when you swore you'd clean my locker. Ah! Sorry, but I'm usually pretty good at keeping my word. Hey, bro. You promised you'd join us for the prehistoric exhibit, remember? <laughs> Without you, uh, but don't worry, we'll take lots of pictures. <laughs> I'll get your comic sign and I'll bring it right back to you. I promise. Andy, that's impossible. The bookstore is over two miles from here. I can do it. You have my word. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I wonder where the is. Is, is he coming out soon? You know what he looks like. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who do not know me, my name is Nolan Cassenti, president of Cascorp Industry. He's as famous as my father, and his technological works are incredible! As a lover of antiques, and as the museum's sponsor, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this special prehistoric exhibition. Cascorp is a corporation that excels in the tech, media, and finance sectors. Watch out, little one! Ms. Jones, call Andy. We'll need his help. before it tries taking over the city. Quit joking and transform! Now! Uh. Let's go, Ghost Boys! I got this, Miss Jones. The ghost is moving around in the subway tunnels. It should come out in Midtown any second. No worries. I'm right on top of it. Okay. I've got four minutes and 45 seconds to capture that ghost and get Carla's comic sign. Easy peasy! Huh? Maybe not so peasy! Flexi Blast! Of 
course, ma'am. The subway station is right over. <laughs> <laughs> The subway. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, anyway, why aren't Liv and Mike with you? They're still at the museum? Liv, Mike, what's going on? They aren't answering. Something must be wrong. I'm sending Globu to go check. But how am I supposed to stop this thing by myself in three minutes and 20 seconds? Three minutes and 20 what? Hey, Andy, what are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Call you back. First things first, shut off Frosty's trunk. Power. Hi there, you look all tied up. Oh. I got it, Miss Jones. Good, then bow cap it now. Sorry, Miss Jones, but my hands are full. Report. Fury needs help. I have arrived at the museum. Liv and Mike have been completely frozen over. Ah, okay, send me a full energy analysis ASAP. Hmm, it's using freezogenic spectral energy. Ha! Ah, but ice is nothing my freshly modded ghost blaster can't melt. Set temperature to 100 degrees and get our heroes free! Commencing meltdown, now. Uh, thanks, Globo. It was f freezing in there. We need to hurry. Andy needs help with the ghost. Let's, Let's go, go, Ghost go Force! Force! Ghost Force, don't fear the glove! Crash! Ghost Force! Huh? Ah! Oh no! Time's up! Ah. Yes! Uh -huh. You are welcome. No need to thank me. Saving lives is my hobby. Oh, what's your deal, Fury? Why were you standing in the ghost's path? Remember me? The girl you froze? Fractal <laughs> Trap! Fury, your turn! Flexi Power! Sorry, pal, but you're going nowhere fast. Drag oil. You've saved New York from oh, prehistorable. Prehistorable does sound kind of catchy. Sorry, got a thing to do. Huh? 
Hey, excuse me. Is it still possible to get this signed? Fury! Uh, yes, of course! I'm one of your biggest fans! Yes! <laughs> Here it is! Wow! Auntie, you did it! Thank you so much. Go. Oh. Would you mind doing me another favor? I need help brushing the teeth of Professor Pascal's dinosaur. Sure, I'll help you. I promise, actually, I'll help. But I can't promise I'll succeed. I put enough pressure on myself for the day. <laughs> to enjoy the sky, eh? And what better way to appreciate its beauty than with one of my very first inventions? <laughs> the Megascope! Whoa! Did you build that yourself? Oh, indeed I did, Mr. Collins. <laughs> and it works just as well day or night. <laughs> and did the other dinosaurs give you a hand back then? <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna watch dinosaurs in space? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, my megascope may not be all that young anymore, but it still has its 16 lens scope and digital surround zoom lens. Ha <laughs> ha! <gasps> that scope is wild! Professor Pascal's always full of surprises. And he's so smart and knowledgeable, just like you, Mike. Ooh. Before we examine the heavens, let's see what you all know about it, eh? What is the largest planet in our solar system? Uh, Jupiter! <gasps> ah, correct, Mr. Col... Oh, uh, I mean, Miss Baker? Mm -hmm. And which planet is the smallest? Uh, Mercury! Uh, uh, what is its circumference? 9,525 miles! Precisely! You sure know a lot about astronomy, Liv. She studied all night long. She's the best of the best. Mercury's atmosphere composed of? Um, huh? Nitrogen, oxygen, and trace amounts of argon. Correct again, Miss Baker. <laughs> Most impressive. You're crushing it, sis. You're super smart, Liv. Oh, and with that, how about we take a look at Mercury, eh? Wow! Is that Mercury? Oh, well, you know, the zoom on my megascope is even better than I remember. <laughs> Is one seriously huge eye. Must be tough finding glasses to fit that. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, I wonder what its family is. Spectre? Molecular? Huh, finally, something she doesn't know. Now we'll find out after we've captured it. Let's go, Ghost Force! Ghost Force, don't fear the glove! Looks kind of fun, though. 
Miss Jones, we've got a brand new ghost for our collection. Please send Globo as backup. There's a ghost? Oops, sorry. I was busy playing Spookout's latest update. Globo's on his way. So, team, how are we gonna take this thing out? We should start with its eye. If the genius says so. Fractal power! Crush! All stunning. Yuri, get ready to strike! Spectral arrow! Crush, are you alright? Yeah, you really are on a roll today. Ciao, Ryan. Ciao, Ryan. Fury! Ciao, Ryan. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Crush, what's wrong? Why do you think something's wrong? Because you're mad at me for some reason, and it's jeopardizing the mission. It's just that you wouldn't let me answer any of Professor Pascal's questions. So this is all about your ego? Do you realize Fury just got hypnotized because of you? Because of me? You would Booyah! Where is our ghost? This is Bizarroid <laughs> Family, ghost of alien type. I just got Globo's analysis. You're facing Chow Ryan, an extremely rare specimen. And it's a level nine. Level nine? Any idea why it's making everyone spread boo energy throughout the city? None, but a level nine ghost will be looking to reproduce itself. So we need to capture it before it does. On it. Crush. What are you playing at, miss? Crush, if you don't snap out of your bad mood, we don't stand a chance. We need to work together. We're a team but giving the right answers is my role on the team. If you take that away from me, what do I have left? Your courage, your kindness, your loyalty. You've got plenty of tricks up your sleeve. <laughs> my systems inform me that an intense force of attraction emanates from that symbol. But what would a ghost from space want to attract? Chow Ryan! Chow Ryan! Chow Ryan! Miss Jones, what's going on? Night's just fallen over the city. That's not the night sky mist. It's the shadow of a giant asteroid. <laughs> As if the ghost wasn't enough. We've got a meteorite to stop, too. Do not worry, friends. I calculate our chances of stopping it at 99%. My apologies. It appears my my c -c -c calculations were incorrect. This is awful. The meteor is about to pancake New York. Crush, you take care of Chow Ryan. I'll use my spectral gates to dash up and stop the asteroid. Mist, no ghost force armor has ever been to outer space. It's too risky, and your weapon's not powerful enough. Well, maybe hers isn't, but mine should do the trick. Fractal Mace! But Crush, won't you need that against Chow Ryan? So don't worry, I've got plenty of tricks up my sleeves. <laughs>
to give us some space. Crush, you really taught that ghost not to mess with planet Earth. Indeed. Chow Ryan was one of the most powerful ghosts I've ever seen. <sighs> I'm proud of you, Ghost Force. It's all thanks to Miss Courage. <laughs> Thank you, Crush. But I couldn't have done it without you. It appears my cow-cow-calculations were not not that far off a a after all. <laughs> <laughs> 